guys, Tom with Tim here. As you know, Apple's WWDC Worldwide Developer Conference 2011 just ended a few hours back. I know I'm late, but it was 12 p.m. and the night started, and I was watching YouTube videos, so Steve Jobs unveiled three new features in the Apple Corporation, iCloud, iOS 5, and OS Lion. Let's start with iOS 5. iOS 5 brings a ton of features that users have been asking for so long. First, improve notification center. Now basically what you'll be able to do is to view all your notifications just by putting your finger from the top and signing it by message. iMessage is basically all three Apple devices, iPod Touch, iPad and iPhone, able to talk to each other via text messages and I'm thinking free messages. So basically you can see Blackberry Messenger iPhone style. Many magazine people, many magazine publishers have fallen in love with the iPad. So what did Apple do? He, they created a new application folder called Newsstand and all your subscriptions goes there. It's really easy, really simple to use and I think you guys will enjoy it. Reminders. Now a Apple has created a new app called Reminders. Basically everything you type in like if suppose you want to make a grocery list, you can and if supposing like if you're going to America and supposing Chicago and you need to meet your grandmother, you can just um, create when I arrive, meet grandmother. So it's really simple and easy. Yeah. A lot, and I mean a lot, including me, of users have complained about the camera. Not the quality, but the way you snap it. Usually users would have to aim at the touchscreen button in the middle, but now no more. Now I'm letting you use the volume buttons to click. It's really going to be easy and it's going to make, and it's going to make really good headshots. Safari. Improve Safari. First, tab browsing. Tab browsing is sensational. You know usually you have to click that book button and then you have to swipe through all the tabs. Now no more. All you have to do is like a computer just click the tabs on top. I don't think it's available for iPhone. And now reader. You know when you load pages and it has a lot of ads and you just want to focus on the main content and there's a lot of clutter? Just click the reader button in Safari and everything goes, only the content, the main content will stay. PC free. Now when you buy a new iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, you don't need to connect the USB. That damn USB is no more. To just set it up, you can just go through an option menu in your i and when you open it, it doesn't have that connect to iTunes logo anymore. All you have to do is click start and it'll just guide you through the process. Mail. Mail has improved a lot. For example, now there's chatting. Chatting basically Google chat, you know like that. Now you can chat and you don't have to go through each email, go through each email. You have to just scroll up and down in a good form. Game Center, that's what I'm really excited about. Game Center now lets you search for friends. You now you also have recommendations for the most apps people are using on Game Center. So you can just click recommendations and you can just buy them straight from the Why Game Center. Why syncing? Now this is really cool. All you have to do is just leave it to charge in the night. Maybe you need a USB or maybe you want to use your dock. I'm personally going to use my dock. Um, you just have to leave it and on your Mac and it'll just connect and start syncing and you don't need to use that USB so when you're going to sleep just leave it on, leave your computer on and by the morning everything's done. Mirroring, basically on the iPad, I think it might be available for iPhone, is that now you can view your iPad on your TV without the HDMI cable out and it works on iPad 1 and iPad 2 so it's really in real time, it's really cool, I think you guys will like it. OS Lion, now most people use today is Snow Leopard which is OS 10. Now OS Lion comes out which is OS 11. Let's start. Full screen apps, iPhoto, Mail and stuff like that, um, your browser. And all of them will be in full screen, so it's really easy, really cool. And I, you guys should control. It gives you a bird's eye view of everything: your, your, your screens, your browsers, tabs, your applications that are open. You have to just put in a gesture, and everything is just so. Launchpad is basically you can replace, you know, your icons, 
and it just creates all your apps on your desktop so it's really cool and it might be good for some people you can create folders it's basically like the iPad so you can save you know when you portrait your iPad will be like that on the Mac airdrop you don't need to use now you don't have to carry a pocket USB everywhere you want to share a file you don't need the Dropbox public folders all done all you need is call airdrop now when you want to share a file to a user all you have to do is click the airdrop button and it'll show a picture of the user's face you just drag the file over that user face and it's directly sent and it's really fast really easy I think it can go up to 800 KB per second iCloud now iCloud I'm not really that sure of what it is I'm sure of this everything you put on your iCloud you get every file you put on your iPod it directly distributes them to all your Apple devices now what you don't know is that it's limited to 10 Apple devices as that's what I know is that's what I read. iOS 5 is free as you know before. I remember when I purchased, when I was bought my iPod Touch 2G. Um, I had to pay I think like $8 for the update to OS 3. Now everything's free and it's really cool. iOS 5 of course is free. Lion is only $29.99 so I don't know why they just saved the one set maybe just for show but basically 30 bucks. So you can buy from the App Store or you can buy the disc. Um, let me know in the comments below which one are you gonna buy? Cause you know some people don't want. Maybe have to burn it. Maybe have to burn it into an ISO file. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you just want to buy it. Let me know in the comments. All right, time with Tim. I worked really hard on this video. I know I got a lot of stuttering. Well, I was awake till four o'clock and I was watching YouTube vids. So yeah, time with Tim. Signing out, guys. Peace.